Hello everyone, my name is Randy Nguyen and I will be presenting on Boniva or Abandonate for Generic. This is the table of contents. First we have the indication, so we will be answering what the drug is used for. Then we will be discussing the dosing and adjustments, so what is the strength the patient should be taking. Third, we will be discussing mechanism of action. Fourth, patient monitoring, so what do we want to observe for safety and efficacy. And lastly, patient consultation. What's the information that we want to share with the patient when they are picking up their medications? Okay, so first, what is the indication? For abandonate, there is one FDA-approved indication being postmenopausal osteoporosis with multiple off-label uses, including bone metastasis in metastatic breast cancer and prostate cancer, as well as hypercalcemia of malignancy. Next, we will be discussing dosing and adjustments. For the only FDA-approved indication, postmenopausal osteoporosis, treatment is either taken orally with 150 mg once monthly or IV with 3 mg every 3 months. For prevention, the same dose as treatment is taken once monthly, being 150 mg orally. Next, on the top right, we have hypercalcemia of malignancy characterized by having the correct calcium greater than or equal to 12 mg per deciliter. Abandronate is used as an alternative agent with a dose being 2 to 6 milligrams IV for one dose administered over 1 to 2 hours. On the bottom left, we have bone metastasis that originated from breast cancer with the treatment being 6 milligrams IV over 1 to 2 hours every 3 to 4 weeks for up to 4 years. Whereas bone metastasis originating from prostate cancer, the dose is 6 milligrams IV for one dose over 15 minutes. Abandronate requires absolutely no dosing adjustments for both kidney and hepatic impairment. Moving on to mechanism of action. How does this drug work? This drug works by inhibiting bone resorption via active action on osteoclasts or their precursor and decreases the rate of bone resorption leading to an indirect increase in bone mineral density. When comparing to other bisphosphonates such as alendronate and pimendronate, abandronate is more potent. Next, patient monitoring. What should we measure to know that the drug is truly working? If the patient is using abandronate for treatment, bone mineral density is measured at baseline and once every one to three years while on treatment. However, if they are on a drug holiday indicated on the right, Bone mineral density is measured every two to four years. Drug holidays are taken while on bisphosphonates to reduce the risk of side effects, such as osteonecrosis of the jaw, subtrochanteric fractures, and GI irritation. Annual labs that should be taken are height and weight, serum calcium, 25-hydroxy vitamin D, and back pain. Other factors that may be taken into account are serum creatinine before IV doses, bone turnover, biochemical markers, and femur fractures in patients with thigh or groin pain. Last, lastly, patient consultation. This drug is Boniva for brand name and Abandronate for generic. This drug is used to combat soft, brittle bones for patients who may have gone through menopause. And this medication should not be used if the patient has an allergic reaction, esophageal problems, trouble swallowing, or have the inability to stand or sit upright for at least an hour after taking the medication. Abandronate should be taken on an empty stomach with a full glass or 6 to 8 ounces of water. If taken once monthly, take at the same time each month. Sit or stand an hour after taking this medication and wait an hour after administration to have a meal or other medications. This medication may worsen asthma and increase the risk of a broken leg. It is advised to complete bone density scans and lab work as required by the doctor in order to ensure safety and efficacy of this medication, and it works best with physical therapy and calcium and vitamin D intake. If the patient's missed a dose, if the next dose is greater than a week away, take it the next morning. But if it's not, then skip the dose and take it the next scheduled time. If the patient is taking a bandronate daily, take the dose in the next morning. Abandronate may interact with cancer medications, NSAIDs, and steroids, 
So if the patient are on these medications, they may consider avoiding. The patient should consult the doctor if they are pregnant, breastfeeding, have kidney disease, heartburn, anemia, blood clotting issues, ulcers, stomach or bowel problems, vitamin D deficiency, or history of cancer. The patient should be warned that this medication may damage the esophagus, cause low calcium levels, and increase the risk of thigh bone fracture. If they are having dental work done, consult the dentist regarding this medication prior to the procedure. This medication may also interact with dyes in bone scans and complete regular lab tests to ensure efficacy. Some side effects may occur are allergic reactions, chest pain, difficulty swallowing or mouth pain, muscle spasms, or pain in the thigh, groin, or hip. The common side effects that the patient can expect are cough, runny nose, or stuffy nose, and sore throat. These are my references. Thank you all for your time.